Hello everyone, welcome back to YK Reviews. Now for this video, this is going to be the end of the month best movie, show and video game of the month in my personal opinion. But before we get into it, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the very first of the channel and this is what I plan to do every single month is basically rank my favorite video game, my favorite TV show and my favorite movie that I've seen in the month um, and that I've reviewed so far. So the very first subject that we'll be discussing is probably going to be the movies, my favorite movie that I've reviewed so far in July, the favorite movie in my personal opinion and it's just my opinion. Let me know down in the comment section below what yours are of the ones I've reviewed and just in general the movies you've seen in July that you probably feel like is your favorite movie um, that you've seen in the month of July. For me, to be honest with you, I cannot decide. It's between Nope and Black Phone. Two movies that are both horror type movies. Black Phone more than Nope as a horror movie, but I cannot decide between them just because of how much I enjoyed both the movies. And I'll start off with like Black Phone itself because it was such a unique um, concept because it's about a child that getting kidnapped and then hearing the previous victims from a phone that doesn't even work or how they try to escape and he uses all of that to manage to try and find a way to escape. I just found that concept so unique and it wasn't those just generic type kidnapping horror movies. It had a unique concept to it, had a unique twist to it. The actors in itself, as I mentioned in my review of the Black Phone movie, the brother and sister relationship, both of them together, it was just such a great dynamic and entertaining. The little sister, especially when she's like swearing at the police and like finding, trying to find her brother, it was really entertaining to watch and it was great to see their chemistry. And then Ethan Hawke, as usual, just kills it in the role, even though we don't get to see his face as much. Just his presence with the, the mask itself was just terrifying and also that jump scare in the movie itself it just was one of those great horror movies that I've genuinely enjoyed a lot and I honestly haven't had a chance to say that about a horror movie in quite a while no, none of the horror movies I've seen in recent years have just made me feel the way this the black phone movie made me feel so that's one of like the top movies I always highly recommend and always enjoyed in the black phone but then with Nope, Jordan Peele just kills it. He nails it in this movie. And as I've mentioned in the uh, the review itself, I enjoyed the reveal of what was going on in the actual movie itself. The only um, thing that pulled me away from it was Stephen Young's um, character, Droop and Gordy the monkey, like that little backstory. So that it kind of like took me out of it a little bit because I... I didn't understand the concept and I looked further into it as well and um, I won't get into like the basics of like what I thought it meant and what I've read so far but that's the only thing that kind of pulled me away but like similar with Black Phone when it comes to like um, Finney and his sister like their chemistry brother and sister it's similar with like Daniel Kaluuya's character and Kiki Palmer their brother and sister dynamic and relationship was such a unique and entertaining um, duo to watch so that's what I enjoyed most about them two. They're just their characteristics and their traits and just how they are with each other and how they are with like outside characters like Angel, for example. It was very entertaining. And again, I loved the reveal. I never mentioned it in my review of Nope. The nighttime shots was so amazing and so stunning. It was recorded really, really well. So that's what I really liked about the movie itself. So I feel like when it comes to Nope versus Black Phone, I might start putting Black Phone up slightly above just because of the whole Gordy, the monkey and um, Stephen Young's character. Their little like backstory and how it ties into the movie just kind of pulled me out of it a little bit when it comes to Nope. So I would probably put Black Phone as the number one movie that I've seen in July. But again, let me know your movies for July, what you've seen, if you've seen the movies that I've reviewed, if you've seen different movies. So let me know in the description down below which one's your favourite, which ones stand out um, for you here. 
for the second category, um, it's basically TV shows, my favorite TV show that I've reviewed. I know I haven't reviewed too many, um, but this is like my favorite. And I, honestly, it's not like the movie ones. I have a distinctive winner for this one. Because so far between Money Heist Korea, Miss Marvel, the Kenobi, Obi-Wan Kenobi sh um, TV series, and Stranger Things Season 4. For me, the best one and the most standout one is Stranger Things Season 4. Now, the reason for that, I mean, it's quite simple with the Disney Plus shows, Miss Marvel and Obi-Wan, both six episodes, both didn't have enough time to flesh out storylines, both just kind of messy and that's a problem with the Disney Plus shows and with Money Heist Korea. As I mentioned in my review, it's just too similar to the original one. Characters, names, characters, um, storylines, just everything about it. It's just way too similar to that. But with Stranger Things, since like it took the time from season one to three to establish characters, establish storylines, everything about it just came so well together. The first couple of episodes, as I mentioned um, in the review, it was a little bit slow. I'm not a fan of like what they did with Eleven and the whole um, high school like storyline, high school subplot and that kind of stuff. But I thoroughly enjoyed how the storyline progressed. Yeah, it was. Um, they all split off in different directions. There was a lot of subplots with so many characters, but the new characters they introduced, like Eddie, I enjoyed him so much he was such a great addition to the show and then everything about what happened with Vecna and the reveal with 1 and 11 and everything that was going for them it just came along so well together and as I mentioned to episode 4 my favorite episode um, of the season so far with like Max and Vecna and having that little nightmare on Elm Street vibes to the whole season itself it just was a great season and it got me so excited and buzzing for season five i cannot wait to see what they're going to do with season five and the show in general uh, it's such a great show and it's definitely one i would recommend binge watch season one to four you'll thoroughly enjoy it and that's definitely one of the standout shows i feel like of 2022 as a whole to be honest it was that good and the finale too everything was just wrapped up so well uh, I do feel like the only criticism and nitpick I have is that they have so many characters now. So I have a feeling a lot of them, I have a feeling certain characters are going to be killed off. And I hope to God it's not Steve because Steve is hands down my just my favorite character of the whole show. His whole story arc from season one to now. And he's just such a great um, father figure to Dustin and a good babysitter for the rest of the kids. So please, please don't let it be Steve. But that's my favorite show let me know in the description down below if you have seen stranger things if that's your favorite show um of july if you've seen something else i haven't reviewed it yet let me know what you thought about that if that's your favorite show of the month of july let me know all down in the description down below there and for the final section of the video my favorite video game of july to be honest with you since i've only reviewed two so far which was spider-man PS4 and The Last of Us Part 1 as I've mentioned they're both such an amazing game and probably one of my favorite games I've played in the older generation it's just it's so hard to decide it's similar with the movie category with, with Black Phone and Nope How however I cannot distinguish between the two of them with Last of Us the storyline that elements of Joel and Ellie and their complex um, relationship and everything going for them the music in itself it's just so great to listen to however when it comes to Spider-Man the PS4 version this is the original one bear in mind not the remastered one it may have taken me a, a while to play since I got it in 2018 and didn't play it until this year just because I wanted to wait till the PS5 came out and play it on the PS5 it was just the swinging i cannot say enough about the swinging the storyline the emotion playing as um peter parker playing as mary jane playing as miles morales everything that happened between dr octopus and peter parker aunt may and like the feast um playing going inside feast and just walking around feast, just everything about the game itself I thoroughly enjoyed it and I have no criticism of the Spider-Man game, which is why I 
cannot wait for Spider-Man Part 2. Like I said, I'm going to be reviewing Miles Morales later on in the month of August and um, my thoughts and my opinions about that. But Spider-Man PS4, just it was such a great game. and that's This is why I cannot distinguish between these two games. I just, I feel like both are great, great games and both games I definitely would recommend. Definitely two of the games I would say go out and play. If you have the PS5, play it on the PS5. If you have the PS4, play it on the PS4. Don't wait till the PS5 like I did, even though it looks amazing on the PS5. You can just play it again eventually once you do get the PS5, but you have to just play this game. And for this one, they're gonna come out with the PS5 version. Honestly, I see no difference. So don't wait for that. Go out and get this one too. So. For me, these are the two best games that I've played in July and that I've reviewed in July. I just cannot decide between them. So these two are hands down my favorite games so far. But this is my uh, monthly review for best video game, best TV show and best movie of the month so far from what I reviewed. Let me know down in the comment section um, below, favorite video game, favorite movie, favorite show, all of that. And like, let me know what you thought about my um, favorite video games, shows and movies of the month too. And also, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, notification bell, hit the like button, share the video, all of that jazz there. And also follow me on Twitter, link is in the description down below. I will be updating the, um, the Twitter page and be posting more on there as well. So follow me on the link down below there. But again, thank you so much for watching this. Just keep an eye out on the channel for more reviews, more um, special types of videos on there. But again, this is YK Reviews. Peace.